So this is a three bedroomed, semi-detached property in Wrighton on Dunsmore. It's on the Leamington Road, so it's got really good access to Rugby, Leamington and Coventry. The current owners have renovated it beautifully. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm going to give you a look around, but just the brief synopsis is it has three bedrooms. There is a loft conversion. So the third bedroom is on the second floor. Um, the kitchen has been totally refitted. So it's all new fitted appliances. Um, so basically, let's just have a little look around. So the house has been renovated very lovingly. Um, the decor is beautiful. Um, I mean, absolutely, I wouldn't change a thing. You've got beautiful, muted, well thought about colours. Um, lovely fireplace over there with inbuilt cover, um, cupboards either side of the chimney breast. And this fantastic bay window, which lets in an enormous amount of natural daylight. Very nice lounge indeed. And as you see, you've got these glazed doors there in the middle. So the daylight can stream right the way through the house. So I think that's rather lovely. And as well, you can zone this off. So you can make this a really nice, cosy sitting room lounge. But then if you want to, you can open it up completely. So just open those up there. And then what you have here is a, a dining room area that is the whole width of the house. And you have this um, really good quality engineered oak laminate flooring. Again, another window to the side, so that lets in a, a good amount of natural daylight. These beautiful column radiators that you see here. It's so nice. There is a, a utility in kind of cloaks area here. So um, space for coats, shoes, washing machine tucked away there. So then you have the fitted kitchen here, which is lovely. It's a, like a, a duck egg blue color. Um, you've got a, an inbuilt microwave, a built-in fan assisted electric oven and an induction hob with the extractor over. And then you over this side, you have um, built-in dishwasher here, tall built-in fridge freezer, and you have this contrasting um, oak style laminate work surface. So it works really well with the um, flooring and the rest of the kitchen color. It's kind of got a, um, a slightly rustic feel. And then again, all these windows on the back of the property that let in the natural daylight, I mean, when it's sunny, you know, the sunlight is streaming through this property. Um, as you can see there, you've got a nice graveled area. Beyond that, you've got a paved area. And then you've got the lawn and also um, a garden shed at the bottom. And you have this garage here to the side. It's got the pedestrian door there and that black up and over door. So it's a good size plot. I mean, on the front, you've got ample parking for up to four or five cars. Um, it's just so gorgeous. Like literally pack up your furniture and come and move in here. It's great. Absolutely lovely. The vendors have done an amazing job. So let's go and take a look upstairs. Right, let's go upstairs and take a look at the bedrooms and the bathrooms. So as I said, this property is 1930s. It's got a lot of original features like these fantastic high top doors. Um, so you've got two bedrooms on this floor. This one is being used as an office, but it is a double bedroom. And the decor in this property has been done so nice. You've got lots of really muted and um, period colours, and then you've got flashes of very nice feature wallpaper. So um, you have the a cupboard here that houses the gas combi boiler, Valiant boiler there. Um, you can just see outside, the garage with the black door belongs to this property. Then you have a graveled area, a patio area, and then you have a big lawned area with a garden shed at the bottom. 
Now back to this room, there is um, a purpose-built double built-in wardrobe there, floor to ceiling. So actually, if you were using this room as a bedroom, it's a good size double. You'll fit a bed in here, dressing table, you've already got the wardrobe there. You know, if you wanted to still retain it as an office, it will absolutely fit a sofa bed. So yes, it's a really nice second bedroom. So let's go and see the bedroom on the front of the property. So this is lovely. It has this enormous bay window there on the front. And as I said, all these lovely muted period style colours, um, it just gives a lovely effect of the property. Um, let's just take a look. You can see the front, lots of parking outside the front. But yeah. Is enough room there either side of the chimney breast to fit wardrobes, ample room, um, and also a, a nice big bed. And then back out, you have the family bathroom here, which is a tiled floor to ceiling, which is always very good. It's good for cleaning, um, just makes it very streamlined. You've got a jacuzzi bath with shower over with a rainforest head and the wall mounted uh, grey matte radiator and also the built-in uh, toilet and vanity cupboards and vanity sink. So yes, a very nice family bathroom. Then what you have here is what would have been like a box room but now it actually leads the stairs up to the loft conversion bedroom, but still, this would make an ample office space. You'd fit a desk in here and your uh, monitors, PC, that sort of thing. And that's a slightly better view of the uh, off-road parking there on the front. You've got a long piece of land there at the front there with plenty of room for cars. So let's go and have a look at this bedroom up here. It's gorgeous. Right. Look at that. It's so nice. Lots of natural daylight coming in from the two skylights on either side of the bed. And also this window here. Um, it's really toasty. This um, slimline wall mounted electric radiator is perfect for this type of room. Very, very toasty and cosy. So I'll just show you that there. So this is a lovely bedroom. So three three double bedrooms and the little office space. Um, you know, this is this would make a great family home and in such a great location as well. So let's go back downstairs. Right, off we go. A beautiful three bedroom semi-detached property in Wrighton on Dunsmore on the Leamington Road.